Hey, what's going on everybody? Brando McWillie here. Uh, my second video of the day. Wanted to make a couple of different videos. I uh, just got finished making a video on the RCBS bullet puller. Um, and I'm now turning my attention to the Lyman Pro 500. And the Pro 500 is a scale used to measure powder when we do reloading. I'm about to do some 9mm reloading and I thought that um, it would be a good opportunity to show you some things. I've been getting a lot of response from um, the reloading community on some of my reloading videos and have a lot of people asking questions uh, with private messages and so forth um, and also some making comments. So I thought that I would kind of show a little bit more about this particular uh, measure. There are lots of brands out there, notably um, Hornady, um, RCBS, um, there's Redding, there's automatic ones, uh, there's all sorts of different kinds of uh, scales out there that can be used to measure powder. Now, Today, when I do my reloading um, for 9mm, um, I'm going to be using uh, Hodgson's HS6. And HS6, uh, to me, is, the, is a good uh, powder to use for 9mm. And, and that's, that's what I use. Um, I use approximately 6.3 grains. And I get that measure, or that recipe, from the, the Hornady Handbook of Cartridge Reloading. This one happens to be the 8th edition. And if I scroll through the pages, to the 9mm page, um, I can get a reading for the size and weight of bullet that I'm going to be loading. And today, um, I have some Hornady XTP bullets at 115 grain, and I have some that are 124 grain. And with the HS6 powder, uh, which you see where my finger is, right there, you're not going to be able to read it because my camera is not that great, it says to use 6.2 to 6.4 grain, 6.4 being the maximum. I usually load about 6.3 because I find that anything below that will not reliably cycle the slide, especially on a Gen 4 Glock. If you see my other videos, you know I have a Gen 4 Glock 19, and um, anything under really 6.2, I don't get reliable um, slide, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, operation, I guess is what you'll say. Um, so let's um, kind of begin and kind of show you really what I'm doing with this particular um, measure. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and I'm going to set up my Lyman, not my Lyman, but my RCBS powder measure, and then we'll start doing some measuring. Be right back. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm just uh, going to take the camera off the tripod here so we can actually kind of show some close-ups of really what we're taking a look at here. Uh, like I said, this is the Lyman Pro 500, okay? I think they make a Pro 1200 as well. And I have this just about set up. It's not exactly set up yet, but I kind of wanted to show you how the setup process works. And um, here is my uh, powder tray. It's going to go in here. And what I'm going to do, the first thing you need to do is you need to calibrate the scale on the surface that you are actually going to be doing the measure on. And, it, and you can't move it really from there. So I'm taking this large weight and I moved it to zero. And now I'm taking this smaller weight what helps us do some of the fine adjustments and I'm moving that to zero as well okay now the object is to have your two lines line up exactly in order for it to be calibrated or zeroed now in order to do that there's a screw here that changes the level of the scale uh, depending on the surface so if your surface isn't level you know you would have to turn this to make this level now I'm going to turn this and it's going to change the height of the scale and you will actually see the scale itself fall and see that the the uh, beam zeroes on the zero pretty much exactly now that seems to work out fairly well okay so now that I know that my um, scale is zeroed now I know that I'm going to be measuring 6.3 grains of that HS6 powder all right so what I want to do is I want to set my scale for 6.3 grains. Now I have from 0 and then I have 50, then 100, 150 and so forth all the way up to 500. That's why they call it a Pro 500. And they go in 5 increments. Okay, increments of 5. So when I move my weight up 1, I can do it one handed there, all right, that's five, so that would measure five grains, but I need to measure six, all right, or 6.3. So moving this weight to one would measure 6.0, and 
and then 6.3 would basically moving it to the third um, mark there. Okay, so that would be 6.3 grains. Now, now what I do, and you want to make sure that you calibrate it with the loading tray on here because you'll be using that to measure. So the next thing that I do, and I have an RCBS powder measure, is I'll stick this up underneath the powder measure, release some powder, and then put it back on the scale to measure. Now I'm going to put my camera on the tripod to do some of this, and it's going to be a little bit further away, but then I'll take it back off and we'll take a look at it again. So, there's my scale, there's my powder measure. I'm going to basically going to lift, all right, and let go, and then here I have have powder into my tray. I'm going to measure it now using the scale, and I wanted to see if it is 6.4 grains, or 6.3. Now looking here, it's not exactly 6.3 grains, okay? I'm a little bit less. I need to add more powder in order to make it work. So I'll make, oops, I'll make an adjustment on my powder measure to let more powder in to the tray. I'll take what I have in the tray, put it back into the powder measure cylinder, and then redistribute the powder into the tray and see where I get. Put the thing back on the scale, and my adjustment seems pretty good. It's pretty much there at around about 6.3 grains. And this is target ammo I'm doing. I can shoot probably anywhere from 6.2 to 6.4 grains without any problems. I could probably shoot up to close to 6.8, 6.9 for plus P, you know, a little bit higher pressure because um, your plus P rounds are a lot more than that. But that's basically where I want to go, and that basically gets me to a measurement that I need for my powder. Now that I have this measured, I can basically take my rounds, you know, and distribute the powder in there, and they should be consistent with the 6.3 grains of powder that I measured here. I do a few runs of this just to double check. I may do this process right here three or four times to make sure I'm getting a consistent 6.3 grains. But once I know that's consistent, I can load probably about, some people say 10, I'll load maybe 20, or sometimes I'll load all 50, and then go back and check a few of them. But I have to say, the RCBS powder measure is pretty darn accurate, and I don't really don't have to worry so much about that. It's a very good uh, powder measure, and um, I never really had any problems with it. So uh, that's the uh, Lyman scale, and that's basically how you do it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Um, I really do appreciate those. And if you didn't see my other video, uh, William was carrying the M&P 9C today. Um, haven't done a review on this yet, but I will. And I hope everybody has a good day. I hope everybody enjoys their long Labor Day weekend. And um, God bless everybody. Take care.